Welcome to my Stella Breba review video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these videos. Let's get started. So I was just visited by a friend whom I had given him a fig tree. And that fig tree has just produced its first Breba. And instead of him enjoying it, he actually picked it and brought it for me. And I don't know if this has two L's or one, but I think it's two. I don't know. Anyways, it's a Stella, okay? And just to give you an idea of how big this thing is, okay? Here's a quarter. Okay, and turn on the scale. You're you're not gonna believe this when you see it. It's it's just it's unbelievable. Okay, this thing I don't know, but take a look at this. Okay, I, I can't even fit it in the camera. It's so big. This is literally bigger than a pear. Okay, <laughs> let's see how much this thing weighs. Oh my goodness. 143 grams. This thing weighs 143 grams. I can't believe the size of this thing. I don't even know if the, the camera's catching the whole thing. Look at this thing. Let's see how big this thing is. I'm going to cut it open right now. This thing is like, it's a meal. Well, it is hollow on the inside, but that's crazy. Let's see how this thing tastes. It's a little bad here. I'll cut it away just to be on the safe side. Give it a taste. Hmm. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. Stella Bribo. I just wanted to fruit. add that you with like this fig, fig, this is definitely unfortunately. For you. Uh, the left side you could see was very dry, so it wasn't very flavorful. And oddly enough, the right side was kind of maybe a little bit overdone, so I had to cut it all away. I couldn't eat it. Um, the parts that were properly ripened were good, uh, like I mentioned in the video. But strangely enough, one part was dry and one part was too much. Um, I guess that's kind of the price we pay for having the up and down climate in the spring that we get here in my zone. 